the eyes in the sky for Nigeria's war on Boko Haram. This aircraft is scanning some piece of forest, some 15,000 meters below. The forest in Nigeria's northeast remains a stronghold for Boko Haram, and with infrared monitors, the plane can quickly pick up potential targets for fighter jets or ground forces. Um, whatever you are seeing here is what um, some of our commanders on the ground are seeing, and this gives them an ample time to take decision and direct uh, appropriate uh, assets towards these targets. So um, the aim of this exercise is to give them real-life intelligence to take timely and accurate decision uh, towards uh, uh, taking out uh, the insurgents. Our objective in Gamma Aiki is to flush them out. Back at base in Maiduguri, yes. the information is quickly put to use, and fighter pilots briefed. Whatever insurgent activities you have in that place, you are taxed to eliminate them. So immediately after the briefing, I expect all pilots, all crew, you have been briefed privately, you have your coordinates, you know what to do, you know your taskings, you step out and let's get the job done. Authorities say these missions have helped turn the tide against Boko Haram in recent months, driving the group back and helping in the rescue of hundreds of hostages. And they are poised to intensify their work. The tempo will increase because we are, we are operating both within and outside our country in uh, coordination with our sister countries. There is a binational uh, uh, cooperation between Niger and Chad that are pushing from Boso area, Lake Chad uh, area, uh, down to Damasak. Uh, we in Nigeria also are pushing uh, from the northern Borno up so that uh, everything will be cleared at the end of the day. The government says it's in the final phase of defeating Boko Haram. In fact, this operation has been branded Gamma Aiki, which means finish the job. Nigerians have had that sort of talk before. They'll be hoping this time the job really will get done. Dejibadmo, CCTV, Maiduguri, Nigeria.